हेलो स्वतंत्र टीवी व्यूअर्स आई एम महिमा वेलकमिंग यू टू आर इंग्लिश बुलेटिन विद लेटेस्ट न्यूज अपडेट्स एंड एनालिसिस कांग्रेस ब्रॉड डिसरेप्यूट टू इंडिया ड्यूरिंग इट्स रूल मोदी प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन थर्सडे लैम्बेस्टेड द कांग्रेस फॉर हैविंग ब्रॉड डिसरेप्यूट टू द कंट्री while lauding chief minister nitish kumar for maintaining an unblemished record addressing an election rally at jammui in bihar modi refrained from mentioning pakistan by name but said that under the bjp led nda government india has started hitting back reviving the ancient glory of the magadh empire the prime minister also took an indirect jibe at the aam aadmi party which has struck an alliance with the congress in delhi All these people who used to accuse each other of corruption have now come together to hurl abuses at Modi he said Modi claimed that when the congress was in power terrorists from small countries struggling for wheat supplies could strike at will He made a mention of the land for job scam in which RJD president Lalu Prasad is named as an accused Modi addressing his first public meeting in Bihar since the announcement of the Lok Sabha polls also charged the RJD Congress combine of heaping scorn on Ram Temple at Ayodhya and opposing the election of a tribal woman Draupadi Murmu as the president of the country visibly pleased at the huge turnout he said it seems the people of Bihar have decided to help the NDA win all 40 seats in the state and achieve the 400 plus target in the country bhrashtachari kaan khol kar ke sun le ye modi nahi aaya 140 करोड़ देशवासियों का भ्रष्टाचारियों के प्रति गुस्सा निकल करके आया है और इसलिए ये मोदी के खिलाफ अनाप शनाप पता नहीं क्या क्या बोलते हैं साथियों मैं कहता हूं भ्रष्टाचार हटाओ मोदी कहता है भ्रष्टाचार हटाओ वो कहते हैं भ्रष्टाचारी बचाओ आप मुझे बताइए भ्रष्टाचार हटना चाहिए कि नहीं हटना चाहिए इस देश से भ्रष्टाचार जाना चाहिए कि नहीं जाना चाहिए हर स्तर पर से भ्रष्टाचार जाना चाहिए कि नहीं जाना चाहिए जिन्होंने लूटा है उन्होंने लौटाना पड़ेगा कि नहीं पड़ेगा साथियों ये कौन लोग हैं जो भ्रष्टाचार के खिलाफ इतनी बड़ाई लड़ाई का विरोध कर रहे हैं आप देखिए एक तरफ एनडीए सरकार है जो नए उद्योग लगाने की बात करती है दूसरी ओर ये लोग हैं जिनकी पहचान अपहरण उद्योग की रही है थिंक अंडरस्टैंड एंड देन टेक राइट डिसीजन राहुल अर्जेस वोटर्स एमिट द लोकसभा पोल्स कांग्रेस लीडर राहुल गांधी ऑन थर्सडे सेड इंडिया इज करंटली स्टैंडिंग एट अ क्रूशल जंक्चर and urged people to recognize the difference between those who build the country and those who destroy it in a post in hindi on x gandhi conveyed to the people ahead of the lok sabha polls that their future is in their hands and that they must think understand and then take the right decision every section of the society will have to recognize the difference between those who build the country and those who destroy it the congress and the india bloc mean that youth's first job confirmed guarantee of msp to farmers every poor woman a millionaire minimum 400 rupees per day for workers caste census an economic survey and secure constitution and rights of citizen he said and the bjp means unemployment confirmed debt burden on farmers unsafe and without rights women forced and helpless laborers discrimination and exploitation of the underprivileged and dictatorship and sham democracy gandhi asserted The Lok Sabha polls will be held in seven phases beginning 19th April. The counting of votes will take place on 4th June.
Telangana government in talks with Tesla to set up electric car plant. The Telangana government is holding discussions with Tesla by putting in all efforts to establish their plant in the state, Industries Minister D. Sridhar Babu said on Thursday. In a message on X, Sridhar Babu said since December 2023 the state government has been actively focusing on major investment opportunities by global giants and as part of its focus, Tesla's planned investment initiatives in India are also being tracked. Telangana with its industry-friendly policy is working with a progressive and futuristic vision by creating a world-class infrastructure and hassle-free permissions system to enable best-in-class companies like Tesla to do business in Telangana, he added. The minister's comments came after BRS leader K.T. Rama Rao in a post tagged a news report suggesting that Tesla Motors will send a team to India to scout for locations for a proposed electric car plant with a proposed investment of USD to Rs. 3 billion. Bharat Rashtra Samithi working president K.T. Rama Rao requested Telangana government to go all out bring Tesla plant to Telangana. One can trust Snake but not BJP, Mamta Banerjee. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee on Thursday accused the BJP of not following the model code of conduct for the Lok Sabha polls and asserted that a poisonous snake can be trusted but not the saffron camp. Addressing a rally in Kooch Behar, Banerjee alleged that the Central Investigating Agencies, Border Security Force and Central Industrial Security Force are working at the behest of the BJP and urged the Election Commission to look into it and ensure a level playing field for all political parties. The BJP is asking people to enroll their names for Avas Yojana again. Why will the names be enrolled again? They want further enrollment so that they can chuck it off. She cautioned the people against trusting the BJP. The BJP is destroying the country. She said, asserting that her party TMC will not bow before the threat of central agencies, Banerjee urged women in Kooch Behar to file police complaints if there are instances of BSF torturing locals ahead of the polls, scheduled for 19th April. It is a matter of national shame that a person against whom there are several cases has been appointed as the Minister of State for Home Affairs. He was sacked from our party. Now, he is the asset of the BJP, she said in an apparent reference to Nisit Pramanik. Pramanik, a former leader of the TMC Youth Congress, was expelled from the party in 2018. He later joined the BJP. TDP has no representation in Rajya Sabha, three YSRCP members sworn in. For the first time in its over four decades of existence, Telugu Desam Party finds itself without any representation in the Rajya Sabha as its lone member K. Ravindra Kumar retired on Wednesday. The vacuum may continue until 2026, when three of the incumbent members in the upper house retire and new members are elected from the state. Vaisa Congress Party nominees YV Subha Reddy, Gola Babu Rao and Meeda Raghunath Reddy were elected to the upper house unopposed in February this year, making the ruling party the fourth largest party with 11 members. Vice President and Rajya Sabha Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar administered the oath to the new members on Thursday in the national capital. Four of the TDP members YS Chaudhary, CM Ramesh, TG Venkatesh, and G. Mohan Rao joined the BJP soon after the 2019 Assembly polls, which shifted the power balance towards the YSRCP in the state and the NDA at the centre. Founded by the film actor-turned-politician Nandmuri Tharka Rama Rao in 1982, 
the party quickly rose to prominence, capturing the imagination of the Telugu-speaking populace, and over the years, the party had been a significant player in state and central politics. Shri Yerram Venkat Subbaredi I, Yerram Venkat Subbaredi, having been elected a member of the Council of States, do swear in the name of God that I will be bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India and that I will faithfully discharge the duty upon which I am about to enter. Vachit Sadasya Yeram Venkat Subbaredi ne shapat li. YSRCP ke sadasya hain Yeram Venkat Subbaredi. Andhra Pradesh se chune gai hain. Sonia Gandhi, Ashwini Vaishnav, among 14 sworn in as rupees members. Former Congress President Sonia Gandhi and Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishnav were among the 14 who took oath as members of the Rajya Sabha on Thursday. Vice President and Rajya Sabha Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar administered the oath to them in the new Parliament House building. While Sonia Gandhi took oath as a member of the Upper House from Rajasthan, Vaishnav was sworn in as a member of the same house from Odisha. Congress leaders Ajay Makain and Syed Nasir Hussain from Karnataka, BJP leader Apian Singh from Uttar Pradesh, and BJP member Samik Bhattacharya from West Bengal were among the 14 who took the Rajya Sabha oath. Sanjay Kumar Jha of JD, U, also took oath as a member from Bihar, Subhashish Khuntia and Debashish Samantre. Both of BJD took oath as members from Odisha, while Madan Rathor of BJP took oath as rupees member representing Rajasthan. The Rajya Sabha Secretariat said that the terms of the members from Odisha and Rajasthan started from Thursday. All others started their term from Wednesday. Rajasthan, Shrimati Sonia Gandhi. मैं सोनिया गांधी जो राज्य सभा की सदस्य निर्वाचित हुई हूँ सत्यनिष्ठा से प्रतिज्ञान करती हूँ कि मैं विधि द्वारा स्थापित भारत के संविधान के प्रति सच्ची श्रद्धा और निष्ठा रखूँगी मैं भारत की प्रभुता और अखंडता अक्षुणा रखूँगी तथा जिस पाठ को मैं ग्रहण करने वाली हूँ, उसके कर्तव्यों का श्रद्धापूर्वक निर्वाहन करूँगी। की ओर से निर्वाचित हुई हैं, पहली बार राज्यसभा पहुँची हैं। WhatsApp, Instagram suffer midnight outage, services back on afterwards. Popular Metown platforms WhatsApp and Instagram suffered outage close to midnight but the services were back after an hour. User reports on down detector spiked as thousands across the globe faced problems in sending and receiving messages on WhatsApp. Down detector tracks and monitors online outages and problems. Some people are experiencing issues right now. The technicians are working on getting things back to 100% for everyone as quickly as possible. WhatsApp wrote on X and followed it up with another post after a few hours saying it was back. Happy chatting! Several Instagram users too faced difficulties as they could not refresh their feed. It is pertinent to mention here that in March, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger and Threads had faced a major outage as users reported inability to access the apps for nearly two hours that time.
कांग्रेस प्रेसिडेंट मल्लिकार्जुन खड़गे ऑन थर्सडे अक्यूज प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑफ स्लीपिंग आफ्टर टेकिंग अ पिल वाइल चाइना एंटर इंडियन टेरिटरी एड्रेसिंग एन इलेक्शन रैली इन राजस्थान स्थित थोरगर ही ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मोदी अ सरदार ऑफ लायर्स ही सेड मोदी डज नॉट थिंक फॉर द कंट्री एंड ओनली अब्यूज द गांधी फैमिली द प्राइम मिनिस्टर डज नॉट थिंक फॉर द कंट्री ही जस्ट अब्यूज द गांधी फैमिली ही वॉन्ट्स टू टेक द पीपल ऑफ द कंट्री विद हिम बाय टोचरिंग दैम He always keeps lying, he said. Modi is Sardar of Liars, has said nobody from the Gandhi family became PM or minister since 1989, yet Modi talks about dynastic politics. He said the Prime Minister toured foreign nations, is visiting across the country during the Lok Sabha polls, but he did not go to Manipur which witnessed riots. Jagan Reddy calls Telugu Desam Party chief Naidu a sadist. Why is RCP chief and Andhra Pradesh chief minister why is Jagan Mohan Reddy on Wednesday called his opponent TDP chief N Chandra Babu Naidu a sadist for approaching the election commission to stop volunteers from delivering welfare pensions to people at their doorstep. The vice RCP chief made these remarks at Putlapattu in Chittoor district while addressing a public meeting as part of his election canvassing bus tour. Seeing elderly people suffer today since they can't walk to collect their pensions, he said he can't help but wonder if Chandra Babu Naidu poses any humanity or if he is a sadist since he stalled volunteers from disbursing pension by approaching the election commission. Jagan Mohan Reddy wondered. The chief minister went on to label Naidu a habitual liar. Calling on the people to help defeat the corrupt opposition, Jagan Mohan Reddy urged voters to ensure that the YSRCP wins all 175 assembly and 25 Lok Sabha seats. Encouraging voters to think about whether the chances they had given the TDP earlier had fulfilled their needs, he asked the people whether they had received even 1 rupee under any scheme during naidu's government in the past the chief minister then went on to highlight the welfare pensions that the andhra pradesh government under him provides to 66 lakh people and recounted several other welfare schemes of the past 5 years gatha 3 rojuluga avva taatalu padta unna baadalanni meeku andarki kanipistha unnai ये स्थाई की दिगजारी पोयाड़े आ वाली अव्वात को इंटी गुड मार्न चुर नव्तूटो तारीखन एपड़ू क्रम तपक सूर्य उदयो लेदो वाली मटक चुरनवत वी तल दी सीन पड़क दिन वी अव्वात मुख्य चुरन चूस्त मन वाल मनवरा अव्वात चतन बी आ वाली मनि चंद्रबाबुना पथक प्रकार कमीशन को निम्बड रमेश तन मनि चेत लेखल राइ प्रजी वाली वाड़े लेकिन व्यवस्थे अनेक रेस पैस्थिटे अव्वात आने नड़व लेने वो अव्वात अने पड़ता अगसा चूस्ट चंद्रबाबुना इधे चंद्रबाबुना हया चंद्रबाबु नी हया जन्मभूमि कमीटी कदया रेषन सर्टिफिकेट चवर की मरगदना लंचमे विवक्ष लेने ये पेदवाड़ की अंदे परस्थित अंदे कदया मरी आ जन्मभूमि कमीटी जन्मभूमि कमीटी पे उ वाली व्यवस्था अभिमाचे सैन्य 
ఎలా పని చేస్తా ఉంది అని అంటే చంద్రబాబు నాయుడు గారి గుండెల్లో రైళ్లు పరిగెత్తించే కార్యక్రమం జరుగుతా ఉంది అని కూడా ఈ సందర్భంగా తెలియజేస్తా ఉన్నా జగన్ ప్రామిసెస్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ అసిస్టెన్స్ టు సెల్ ఫోన్ లోరీ డ్రైవర్స్ ఇన్ అగ్నిఫికెంట్ అనౌన్స్మెంట్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద ఫేస్ టు ఫేస్ విత్ డ్రైవర్స్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ విత్ ద రెసిడెన్స్ ఆఫ్ చిన్న సింగన్మలా ఇన్ తిరుపతి డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ Chief Minister Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy reaffirmed his commitment to inclusive growth. The Vyas RCP government would give equal priority to all professions. He said that the Vahana Mitra scheme which provides financial assistance to cell phone auto rickshaw, taxi and maxi cab drivers would be extended to those who own lorries after Vyas RCP comes back to power. Eligible beneficiaries under this scheme will receive 10,000 rupees per year. thereby broadening the scope of support to various sectors of transportation he came down heavily tdp chief n chandra babu naidu for his derogatory remarks against viranjneel a candidate of the ysr congress party just like viranjneelu individuals from all social classes and professions can get the opportunity to serve as legislators whenever possible when a person from a particular profession occupies a seat in the assembly they can speak on the issues specific to their profession thereby bringing them to the government's attention in doing so the government can effectively address the challenges faced by individuals in that profession despite this being a known fact naidu who served 3 terms as chief minister for over 14 years showed disrespect to the drivers profession santa auto lu konukoni santanga auto lu konukoni సొంతంగా ఈరోజు ట్యాక్సీలు కొనుక్కొని వాళ్ళ వాళ్ళ జీవితాలు బతుకుతా ఉన్న వాళ్ళు ఎంతమందో తెలుసా అక్షరాల మూడు లక్షల తొంభై మూడు వేల ఆరు వందల యా ఆరు వందల యాభై ఐదు మంది మొట్టమొదటి ప్రభుత్వం వాళ్ళు ఉన్నారు అని గమనించి వాళ్లకు తోడుగా అండగా ఉంటూ వాళ్ళను ప్రోత్సహిస్తూ ఎందుకనంటే వీళ్ళందరికీ కూడా క్రమం తప్పకుండా మన ప్రభుత్వం ప్రతి సంవత్సరం వీళ్లకు తోడుగా అండగా ఉండి అని చెప్పి చెబుతూ ఏకంగా ఈ మూడు లక్షల తొంభై మూడు వేల ఆరు వందల యాభై ఐదు మందికి క్రమం తప్పకుండా ప్రతి సంవత్సరం పదివేలు ఇస్తూ ఏకంగా ఐదు సంవత్సరాలలో యాభై వేల రూపాయలు తీసుకున్న వాళ్ళు కవితాస్ బెయిల్ ప్లీ వర్డ్ ఇట్ రిజర్వ్ ఫర్ ఎయిత్ ఏప్రిల్ బిఆర్ఎస్ లీడర్ కే కవిత arrested in the delhi excise policy scam case urged a court here on thursday for interim bail claiming that her 16 year old son has examinations and needs his mother's moral and emotional support the court of special judge kaveri baveja heard the submissions made by the counsel appearing for kavita and the enforcement directorate and reserved its order for monday during the hearing senior advocate abhishek singhvi who appeared for the bharat rashtra samiti leader claimed that the perspective of a mother is not substitutable by father sister or brother singhvi said that no immediate interrogation is there that cannot wait these few weeks heavens would not fall if kavita was allowed to be with her son for month there was no immediate interrogation was on the anvil singhvi told the court the enforcement directorate said that there is influencing of witness there is an attempt to make at least two or three witnesses to retract statements out of which one or two people she has already succeeded third person came forward to the enforcement directorate and said that she exerted pressure on him there is an apparent destruction of evidence the enforcement directorate council said Sensex Nifty hit record highs as HDFC TCS rise Equity benchmark indices Sensex and Nifty rebounded sharply to hit record fresh highs on Thursday propped up by buying in IT consumer durables and financial stocks amid expectations of a robust corporate performance Besides investors lapped up select banking stocks expecting a status quo in the interest rate decision of the RBI's monetary policy committee analyst said
The 30 share BSC Sensex surged 350.81 points or 0.47% to settle at its lifetime high of 74,227.63. During the day, the index oscillated between the high of 74,501.73 and the low of 73,485.12. The broader NSE Nifty also hit its fresh peak of 22,514.65, gaining 80 points or 0.36%. As many as 31 components of the 50-share benchmark ended with gains. Both indices had ended lower in the previous two sessions. Among the Sensex constituents, 20 stocks ended the session in green with HDFC Bank, Titan, Tech Mahindra and Asian Paints being the major gainers. TCS, Maruti, Kotak Mahindra Bank, and Bajaj Finserve were the other gainers. In contrast, SBI, Bharti Airtel, JSW Steel, Power Grid, ITC and Reliance closed the trading with losses. Here are today's news. Thank you for watching Swatantra TV English Bulletin. For a complete and comprehensive English news bulletin, please do watch Swatantra TV every day. This is Mahima, signing off. Keep watching Swatantra TV.